Hey everyone, uh, Lucas Wiley, uh, Berkeley, IOR 190G. I want to talk about the first of my uh, smartphone patent war uh, litigation cases. This is Apple v. Samsung. I mean, the big one. We all know about it. Um, yeah, well, back in early 2013, Apple had uh, won the largest of its patent cases, which we'll call battles against uh, Samsung in their uh, apparently endless rivalry within the larger technology industry, the smartphone patent war. Uh, a California jury had found Samsung infringing on software features like double tap zooming and scrolling, which ended up awarding Apple $1 billion in damages. Uh, by June 2013, Samsung had actually bounced back and secured a victory of its own following a trade agency ruling in which several older Apple products could not be sold in the United States if they violated Samsung's patent 7706348, which was an apparatus and method for encoding or decoding transport format combination indicator in CDMA mobile communication systems. Anyways, uh, just a little bit from the abstract, it was an apparatus and method for encoding or decoding um, within a mobile communication system. This apparatus was a generator which generated a sequence of the same symbols and um, basically it created a plurality of or orthogonal sequences, intersecting sequences. So essentially, um, <clears throat> runs through a sequence conversion and creates information and combines all of this and creates a mask. Very complex, but anyway, it works towards cell phone information processing. And uh, eventually this went to the International Trade Commission, the ITC, and they banned Apple from importing or selling any AT&T slash Samsung compatible models of the iPhone 4, uh, <clears throat> 3GS, and 3, in addition to versions of the iPad and iPad 3. So huge amounts of revenue for Apple. Just, you know, getting crushed here. And because they all infringed on the above patent with respect to uh, their encoding of mobile communications, however, they did not affect Apple's new products like the iPhone 5 and beyond, um, which, of course, use different technology. Although three other patents were under review, I mean, Apple was found not violating these, but it showed a great deal of, you know, prior art and obviousness violations with the patent that we are talking about in question here. And of course, the obviousness and availability of smartphones on the market. Um, at the time, this dealt a large blow to Apple uh, because they generally had a consistency of victory in past infringement cases. They claimed that Samsung had used a strategy uh, rejected by courts and regulators around the world and tried to block the sale of Apple products by using the patents they agreed to license to any proprietor for a reasonable fee. So again, I mean, this is just back and forth, uh, tit for tat litigation and uh, I really don't know if there's an end. Thank you.